Today we're going to look at dot plots and histograms for group data in Desmos. Statistical charts help us organize data. We will use Desmos to help easily group a large number of data. I'll be using the 53 biggest colleges in the United States published by prep schools in August of 2020 to give us our data set. So here's my data set. There's 53 colleges listed here, but I have to make one little change before I copy it and move it over to Desmos. So I'm going to highlight this entire column, but I'm leaving off that first um, cell that named the column, and I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to format the cell, and I go to the number. And currently the number says use the comma for the 1000 separator, and I'm going to take that off and I say OK, and I can see it reformatted the numbers. That's an important step for Desmos because Desmos uses comma to tell the difference between numbers as the separator between, so I can't use the commas in the thousands. I just have to leave commas off altogether. Now that I've done that, I can see that my numbers are still highlighted, so I'm going to hit Control-C. That's going to copy. And then in Desmos, I'm going to hit Control-V, which pastes all the numbers in. Then I want to go back to the beginning. So I'm going all the way back to the beginning of this number set, which has 53 elements, which is what we expected it to have. And I'm going to name this data set, and I'm just going to call it A. So I'm going to call capital A equals. Now it knows when I say A to bring in all those numbers. And I can tell it now to do a dot plot of A. By default, it's a bandwidth of 1, which means this. When I hit zoom fit so that I can see my data points, I have singular values for each of the colleges. So every college had a unique value for how many students they had. So that means I kind of want to group it so I can see them better. So instead of having 53 individual elements, I would like to put them into groups. And I can see the biggest college was 59,000. So I'm thinking I need to go into the thousands. So let's start with something like 10,000. Right now it says exact. So it's still giving me the exact values. So I'm going to hit bend. And then the bend, when I hit zoom, you can see it stacked them together. Now stacking them together and doing it from the center. So I'm going to push the left. Now I can see the 10,000s put together by the, by the left bend alignment. Now I have one, two, three, four, five data values or data classes there been so maybe we think we want a little bit more maybe I can make that a 5,000 and again I'm going to zoom fit to say now it's grouping them by 5,000s the dot plots are good it gives us some idea of frequency distribution I can definitely see what's happening the most if you're having a hard time reading the x-axis you can change the settings on the x-axis and you could say maybe you want to group it by every 1,000, which would probably be too much. So let's say 10,000. That helps so we can see what the values are. It also would help if we went ahead and made a histogram. So here's a histogram of A. It doesn't look right because we don't have the same bin. So I'm going to put 5,000 also. And then I'm going to left align it so it matches the alignment of our dot plot. So I can see these two have to, um, agreement now between the dot plot and the histogram. If you don't like that color, black's a little dark, we could change the colors. Maybe say we think blue looks pretty. And I'm going to change them both to blue. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the dot plot for a minute so we can just look at the histograms. So I have to say done, and then I can click on it, and that will turn it off. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine different bins, which is okay. We usually aim to be between five and 12, but we can tell what's happening here. When I look at how many colleges had between 15,000 and 20,000 in our list of 53, it was only one. Then we had two colleges, one, two for the boxes that were between 20 and 25,000. This highest frequency that we have, which was 25, represents colleges that were between 30,000 and 35,000. And then we can also see for these extremes, like 55,000 to 60,000, we only had one. So we have these very few with these over 45,000, and then we have a lot that fell into the 30 to 35,000. You can keep playing around with that. You can change the bin width some more. Maybe you want to group them by eights because you feel like that'll give you a better idea of what's happening. 
You can also change it to a relative, a relative frequency distribution by clicking on relative. And then you'll want to zoom fit so you can see the percentages. I would change the Y then because this is 0.25 and 0.5. That's kind of hard to read the percentages. So I would go over and on the step on the Y, maybe put it at 0.1. So that would tell me every 10%. So I can tell a little more clearly how this is dispersed.